And today we're going to be talking about how to use the Sim Mimic Social Simulator. Mimic is the social simulator that you'll be able to use throughout this course to um, actually execute a social media campaign for a fictitious company. What this does is it creates a safe environment for you to practice social media and social media marketing skills without actually posting anything online. Now, remember, this class is a hypothetical class. You're not actually posting anything online, so this mimic simulation is really important for it. So to get started with mimic simulation, simply log into your mimic, right? Now you'll notice that when you get into the simulation, you'll notice that you're going to see a welcome screen. The welcome screen has a very uh, detailed how-to video. This will walk you through step by step how to do uh, how to use uh, the Mimic Simulator. In addition to this, the idea of what you're going to be doing is building social media marketing campaigns, promoting content via social media ads and organic posts, and then also measuring analytics. You'll notice that every round that I said sign you, I sign you uh, two rounds at a time. The first round is the actual making of the social media posts, and then the following round is the analytics of those posts. So in this case, in this week's assignment, round one is actually writing the social media posts, and round two is recording your uh, metrics and analysis of those social media posts in round one. So with that being said, make sure that you read this helpful uh, tip very thoroughly and watch the video. Now you'll be introduced to the um, to the uh, executive summary and about the company that you're be creating a social media plan for, Buoy. Buoy Supply Company is an e-commerce retail book bag supplier, specializes in backpacks, purse, and wallets, and you're now the social media manager for this company. It's going to give you a fiscal overview of this company, detailed information about the products and the average cost of the products. Now this is important for return on investment. It's going to also tell you about get to know about your market. Remember in our social media uh, assignment number one where I told you to tell me about a company that you want to create a social media plan for and then tell me about your target and secondary audiences? This is what you need to do with any social media uh, plan is to do that research. Well, they've done the research for you. And if you click through each one of these segments or uh, audiences, you'll learn about who they are and important things to target, important targeting information about them. You'll know the age range, the percentage of market, the typical gender. Uh, their income, as well as their interests. Now, this is very important when using hashtags in your social media posts to uh, target them. You'll notice that some are a uh, very uh, low percentage of market, and then some are very high percentage of market. The, per the, the um, percentage of market has a direct correlation to, your, um, to how many people are looking to join in conversations about your products. So please pay attention to that. Next, you'll learn about the analytics. And this is the existing analytics of the social media channel. So you'll learn which channels are ideal for which markets. So you'll learn a little bit about the markets and then a little bit about the channel. So this channel is uh, key, is sways towards female. And they, uh, they suggest that you post one to two times a day. Now, that'll be important when you get in the round one because you'll have to post one or two times a day. And the average age group is 18 to 50-year-olds. So if we go into the market, 18 to 50-year-olds, well, female. Well, back to school, Mindy would be uh, somebody. Um, City Hopper Sue. Uh, up and come Raj, no, he doesn't fall into that, um, into that best... Uh, best uh, target for that social media channel because he falls outside of that 
uh, demographic group. Energetic Jill falls into that group. Seaside Sally falls into that group. Depa Ecker Tom does not. And Hipster Mommy Kami does not. Um, so you want to keep that in mind as you go through each one of your platforms and say, okay, well, you know, Hipster, um, he falls into this uh, Twitter group better than he does Facebook. Next, you'll have your budget. Your weekly budget is $5,000. Even when you're making organic posts, there are some costs associated with it, such as photography, right? But you'll also use a budget for paid social posts, right? Because you can target individuals that may not be fans of yours. So it's important to use all your $5,000 budget or as much as you can per week, per round. Then you'll learn about annual budget, production budget, and promotion budget. Next, here are your goals for this exercise. Spend your entire budget. Spend it wisely, right? Spend 25% on your budget on content and 75% on promotion. So every week, every week, you should really look at your $5,000 budget and spend approximately $1,250 on costs of photos for organic posts and then uh, around $37.50 on promotional ad spend. You'll want also, you, uh, some of the analytics that you're going to be reporting on is growing your brand awareness. This is a goal of every social media uh, campaign. It should be one of your goals is to increase a brand awareness. What metrics are important? Well, followers, fans, that's how you're going to measure that. You want to measure engagement, grow your reach. Engagements will follow, but uh, only if the content you write is engaging. So remember, we looked at in your social media uh, ass assessment or audit, engagement rate. So you're going to be measuring that. Also, your sales. You want to make sure you increase your sales. Obviously, bottom line goals are important, but so are growing brand awareness and engagement. And then finally, remember, remember, um, your competitors. Remember we did that audit. Remember we figured out, okay, what are my competitors are doing? How, what's their average engagement rate? How many fans do they have? You're going to be competing against your fellow competitors and your competitors are your schoolmates. So um, it's important to understand where they are and your points are going to be uh, for this these assignments. I mean, based on how well you do against your, com your competitors, too, or your classmates. So those are your four goals for your campaign. So after you read thoroughly about the scenario, it's time to start with round one. So when you hit continue, you're going to go into a memo. All right? Your boss comes into your office and says, I'm, I'm ready for you to get excited. A lot on your plate. Looks like you'll need to read a blog post and see what you need to do to build awareness for the band, brand. So, those are the metrics that you need to follow and you need to report on. Remember, uh, we have four goals. Here's three of them. Um, three of them spelled out with the metrics that you're going to report on. All right. So after you're done reading this mem memo. You're going to uh, start your simulation. Now, when you hit on post, it's going to give you uh, some helpful hints as far as how to use this to plan pop, uh, uh, posts. This is a very easy to follow step guide on what you need to do. And once you've read this, you can get started. So, I'm going to show you an example of getting started. So my first post I'm going to write is for Facebook. I'm going to make it a non-promoted post, an organic post. And I'm going to pretend it's Monday, October 16th. So I'm going to type in, it's the weekend is over. 
time for back. Back to school. Head back in style with one of our cool backpacks. Now I'm going to look for a cool photo of a backpack. Yeah, ready for school. I'm going to uh, use that. So it's going to cost me three bucks for that photo. So that that is done. I have that scheduled. All right, fantastic, right? This is great. I'm going to go ahead and hit schedule. So now I have a pending post here. All right, now I'm ready for another post. Let's pick Twitter this time. And I'm going to actually make a promoted, uh, a promoted Twitter uh, account towards one of my um, target groups. Now remember, this company skews more towards men, and it's going to be backpacking, right? And my budget for this promoted post is going to be a hundred dollars. I'm going to save this audience and name it "Men Backpacking Backpackers," and hit done. So, um, tell us about your weekend adventure. All right now, I want um, to look for an adventure uh, picture. Let's see. Let's get a good adventure. Ooh, that's a good adventure. Right? So now this is going to cost me $101 and I'm going to go ahead and schedule it. So I got two posts for Monday. Now remember, I'd like you to post at least make every uh, round. Remember, it's only rounds one, three, five, seven. Uh, the odd rounds are actually posting. So I want to make sure that you have at least 20 to 30 posts uh, for each uh, um, round where you have to post messages. And I want you to try to use as much as that budget as possible. So a good 20 posts should, uh, should drain this budget and have you uh, post to each uh, social media channel. Now once you have your 20 posts done, all you have to do is hit run simulation. And now you'll be in round two or the analysis round. So this section will help you understand the results from last week and help you learn how you can use that information. You can find the results from your post under the Atlantic, a analytics tab. Once you have finished answering the questions, click submit and you'll be able to start scheduling posts for round three. Now you'll have to wait until next week, but you'll be able to complete round two. So, if you look at your post analytics, it's going to give you some information. Now, how many new followers did you gain on Facebook? Lola, well, let's take a look. Facebook. Uh, we had uh, 20 page likes, right? Twenty page likes. So I'm gonna go back to the question. I'm gonna go back to the question and type in 20. How many impressions did you get on Twitter this week, if any? Let's see Twitter. We got 8,127, so let's take a look at that. So what you're going to do is go through each one of these questions and answer the questions, and then once you're done with round two, which is, are these questions, you're going to hit submit. And you'll be able to see how you did compared to your, com your competitors or your classmates. That's it for how to use Mimic Social. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me.